Good morning, everyone. This is Linda with Linda Sue Plants for you. Um, today, I want to... I have so many things to share with my plant friends. And I'm not quite sure. I've been kind of racking my brain trying to figure out how to like group these thoughts of mine together so that it makes sense for the rest of the world. But I'm not having any luck with that. So... Just bear with me then, I guess, and hopefully you can make sense out of what I'm doing and why. And <clears throat> I'm going to start in my living room here with my uh, red emerald. I received this, uh, I'm sorry, not a red emerald, a uh, Prince of Orange. I, I purchased this one and the uh, Congo, I think it's called. And that one died in, in shipping. And this was just about dead when I got it. It was probably about three, four inches tall. And I think it had one or two leaves left on it. And I, I thought for sure it was done. But I babied it and I took care of it and I nurtured it. And here she is. And I'm waiting. I should say he. he he's a prince, right? Um, I'm going to be repotting that. Hopefully today. And that brings me to my next uh, segment, which is I've got a lot of plants that need a lot of attention. So <clears throat> I'm going to just video that because so many of you have asked me to do that and to make more videos. And I'm, I'm really trying, folks. It's, some days are very challenging for me, and um, I'm really pushing. I really I want to get these out there. I enjoy doing them. I love, love, love my plants, and I love my fans, and um, I wish I could just be with you guys every day, so that's that. Okay, so this, what you're looking at right now, is my, one of my lipstick plants, and I just wanted to show you this because, and I'm not sure if you can even see it with the backlighting, but oh my goodness, she's just covered, there's, there's tons of them that are not open yet, um, but she's got... If I were to count them, I would probably say somewhere between 50 and 75 flowers. And like I said, not all of them. A lot of them are not opened yet. But they kind of open in increments, so I don't know if I will get the whole picture of how many are on here at one time. But I'm keeping an eye on it, and if I do, I will definitely um, uh, record that for you and, and send it out there. So right now you're looking at my south window in my living room, and as I said, I'm, I've got so much to do and so many things to take care of. I don't even know where to start, but I wanted to just do an overall um, keeping in touch kind of video with you. One of the things that I I'm really excited about is my Kalanchoe tomentosa panda. This was the plant that got me back into. Uh, plants when I was very very sick and my granddaughter purchased this for me it was just one little stalk and now she's she's getting big now what I don't understand about this guy is and I hope you can see it there you see the big leaves on the bottom they're they're huge and that's how I'm hoping this whole plant is going to get but it just doesn't want to grow that way and I don't know why I've had it in different spots, and it's done the best in this window. As you can see, there's a lot of new growth. And then I got the sister plant to that, which is right there. Let me see if I can go around. Um, this is also a Kalanchoe Tomentosa Chocolate Soldier. And I love her coloring. So she's doing okay, and I've got some new growth on my cactus. So things are, there's another one. I think I just found out what's going on here. I don't know what these are. Tiny black ants, and I need to get to the bottom of that. That's the third one that I saw, and that might very well be what is causing problems for me here some of my plants have gotten yellow leaves on them 
and that I've never had a problem with them. One of them are my calatheas, as you can see. I've never ever had that happen. So I'm, I'm a little concerned about what's going on here with my plants. And short of repotting everything, you know, I don't want to do that, but I may have to. I don't know. I don't understand. If anybody knows, if you could, I don't know if you saw that, it's a very, very tiny black ant. Very tiny. Like the size of a fungus gnat. And uh, I think when I'm done recording, I'm going to do a little research too. But if you guys have any thoughts on what that might be, please let me know. I don't have bugs in my house, and I don't have ants in my house. So I don't understand it. Okay, and you guys saw these. <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to point out here that I'm struggling with are my begonias. I moved them all to the living room where I could enjoy them, and for some reason, the leaves are fading. The color is fading. And so I turned off this light that I normally have over um, because my understanding in the begonia family is that the, um, the cane begonias actually like partial shade. Whereas my Rex begonias really need full sun. When I move them out of full sun, they suffer. So I might have to do something different here. And that was a little overwhelming for me all week because I just went through the work of moving everything to move these here. And now I don't think they're going to be able to stay here. And uh, there's my my witty eye, my... Uh, Begonia maculata woody eye that I've waited so long for and I see now that I've left that light off It's starting to darken up a little bit. So I think that is definitely the issue here with these um, If you have any thoughts on that or you've got any experience with that Please let me know help me out here I'm not an expert by any means, but I do the best I can with the knowledge that I have so Alright, that'll be it for in here. I have a lot more to show you, but right now I want to move into the other room. So just one moment while I do that. And here we are. Back in my dining room slash work room slash plant room. And what you're looking at, that sea of purple, is my purple passion. And this plant has grown like crazy as you can see uh, and I've taken quite a few cuttings from this and some of you have asked have told me that you have no luck with these plants I I can tell you they really love to be in my east window and I let them get kind of dry before I water them I usually don't water them until they just start to look dull and limpy and because these can be overwatered very easily I'm going to see if I can get this light over here so you can see better I don't know I think that's a little better hopefully but you can see she's very healthy very beautiful she's got a lot of growth and I am about to make a uh, couple hanging pots for my girls. They each wanted a, a pot with this plant in it. So I'm going to cut this plant back. And I'll probably video that. Uh, record that <clears throat> for you so you can see. Those of you that didn't see my last video, um, you can tune in on this one. And then the other things that I have planned are... Uh, as far as propagating, is these two coleus. They, even though I've had them in very bright light, they are, um, they still got kind of leggy. And the only place these really do good in my house is in the east window, and I did not have room for them there. So, as you can see, their color is a little bit faded. It could be much darker. But these are going to be going outside in the spring. But um, in the meantime, I'm going to cut these back too. And you'll see how I do that on the next video. And then I've got my um, fish, my uh, 
goldfish plant. I'm going to be repotting that. And I've just, I've got a lot of things that I have to do. And I'm not sure how long the videos are going to be. So I don't want to promise you I'm going to do something and not do it. So I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do other than what I've already said. And I'm going to see what I can do today. And what I can get uh, loaded up for you guys. So thank you all for your patience. And I really appreciate your comments. And it's very good to have plant friends. And so. Alright, so that'll be it for right now. Um, I will be back with my uh, video for the propagation. Okay, thank you so much. I will see you soon, or you will see me soon. Bye now. Um, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Uh, when I finished the, the first part of this video, <coughs> I came, I went while I was editing it, I saw <clears throat> um, like uh, two, three ants going from this leaf to this leaf on this plant. They were just like having a field day here, back and forth, and I could see it on the screen when I was video when I was editing my video. So I wanted to come back on and just let you know um, <clears throat> I did remember what that could be. Um, but I will have to research it to make sure. But I know that there's certain pests that leave um, like a honeydew type sticky substance um, on the leaves of plants. So I'm apparently, and that does attract ants. And I knew that, but it's been so long. I, I just completely forgot about it. So I, I did a little more investigating here. And um, I sprayed everything with my alcohol and water. Um, spray because that usually takes care of my pests. I very rarely have to use anything else. So I'm going to see if that works. I believe that does work if you if you can spray it right on them. Um, but however, <clears throat> when I came back in the kitchen to look at these, um, even though I had already sprayed it, there were still quite a few coming out of this pot. And I think what happened here is I had this plant sitting on a pot inside this pot and this pot had a bunch of dead um, flowers from my lipstick plant so that was probably what they were after I'm, I'm hoping that's what it was <clears throat> and that's what happens when we don't keep our um, our vessels clean and our plants clean um, and I know I've said this many times and I, I've heard many others say it many times <clears throat> that uh, you know, a sick plant will attract pests. So we have to be as diligent as we can to keep their soil clean and their their pot clean and the table around them even and keep them in the most optimal health so that we don't have this problem. Um, I did go back and look in my living room. I didn't see any signs of any more. So I'm hoping that I caught it in time like I said, this plant was loaded with them. They, when I set it in the sink and started spraying it, they were all coming out. So I'm going to be repotting this anyway. So I'm glad that uh, I caught that before I put it next to my other plants. But I just wanted to let you know that. Okay, so. All right, this is it for, for sure this time. Um, and I will uh, be back later. And until then, you have a great day. Bye now.